four x raised to exponent four and y raised to exponent four, right? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Was you got the answer of second one? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is. Yeah, minus a raised to six. Minus a raised to six. Correct. Also, minus a raised to six will be converted to. Will Addition. it be converted or will it? Sir, uh, positive. Since uh, oh. the uh, even number. It will. It will remain same. Huh? It will become a positive value because the value you will be getting it a positive value, right? Now, but had let's say you have a number like a is to exponent minus six, so thereby it will become. So it will still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys remember it in the chapter exponents and powers, we. Revise this if you have uh, the base. So it a, would be uh, under uh, under root six a. Not under root six a. No, was you tell me this thing? A raised to the power minus one will be one upon sir, a sir, is it raised to one. No, it will six, be in six fraction. Root a. Nahi, nahi, nahi. <clears throat> you are going in a different direction, Arhan. That's a different thing. See, जब भी हमारे पास base a होता है, exponent is minus one, right now. When the exponent is one a negative, a raised to the power six. Exactly, one upon a raised to the power six. This is how you will be representing it. Okay now. Uh huh. So keep devising the laws of the exponents also, because if once I am done with this chapter, I will be beginning with the next chapter. We will be talking about exponents and powers. Okay. So you said uh, you would give us some questions regarding this chapter <clears throat> test. Ah, uh, look now. Uh, right now, I'm thinking now uh, to cover the chapter uh, to revise the identities. After we are done, then surely we'll be having a small test for this chapter. Okay now. Okay, hmm. sir. Now exercise nine point three. Quickly have a look at this one. We will be moving ahead very uh, uh, quickly. Yeah, question number one. Anyone has having any issue? Please to let me know. So we have done this already. Ha, we have done this already, but still, uh, I can see that practice is required. Okay, now. So he so, gave us this exercise as homework as well. Hmm hmm hmm. Okay, so you could be, you guys could be answering verbally also then. Okay, okay now. Yes sir. Yes sir. Hmm hmm hmm. Actually, okay. the thing is now. Okay, uh, we have to cater to needs of everyone in the batch, like. Okay now. Sir. So that is also one thing. Yeah, Ahmed. No, sir. This uh, uh, in exercise uh, in, in uh, nine point three. First mm -hmm. question: How to do? Huh? You first question. That is also very simple, now. Yes, sir. You see, for example, four p and q plus r. It is the same as a times b plus c, right? Thereby it becomes a multiplied b, and then you multiply a with c. That is a times c. A b plus a c. Exactly. So same thing you have to carry out here as well. Four p times q plus r. So four p into q that will be four p q. Then four p times r that will be four p r. Yes. Like this yes. you have to carry out. A uh, question number three. This one. Seven a square b square times a plus b. Yes, that will be what. Seven a cube b square plus seven. So seven a cube b cube. Mm -hmm. Seven a cube b square. Hoga pehle na. See, seven a square b square into a plus b. First of all, we make it multiply. Karte hain. Thereby it becomes. Yes. A square. Hoga yaha par bhi. Seven a square b square into b then. So here. A square into a that is seven a raised to the power three b square plus seven a square b raised to the power b cube cube it's b cube right so like this you have to carry out okay hope it every uh, everyone is getting this cleared yes sir yeah uh, like this question number three these ones were were also very easy so question number three question number three look at this one. Yeah, was I will not be solving all the questions because 
the remaining okay. ones you ha you have to solve it as part of your assignment okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay. yeah question number 3 all if you look at this one and do tell me the answer um so Sir, uh, minus four p raised to the four q raised to the power four. Well done, well done. Yes, sir. Three twos are six. Five minus twos are ten. Minus four p p raised to the power three. That becomes p three plus one. That is p raised to the power four. And q three plus one. That is q raised to the power four. Yes, sir. So that is the answer, right now. ओके नो सिंप्लीफिकेशन है सिंप्लीफिकेशन में सिंपली हमें क्या करना होता है ना यू सिंपली हैव टू रिड्यूस द नंबर इन द इन अ फॉर्मेट वेयर इट कैन बी रिड्यूस एनी फर्दर लाइक 3x टाइम्स 4x माइनस 5 है सो यू विल बी सिंपली मल्टीप्लाइंग इट सो देयर इज अ गिवन वैल्यू आल्सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द its value for x equals when or what would be the value of this expression when x is equals to 3 or when x is equals to 1 upon 2 right yes yeah, so so we have to put the value in place yeah. of x exactly so pehla step is to simplify karna that will be 12x square minus 15x now yes sir right so if you were to put 3 in terms of x here that becomes what quickly tell me So, uh, <clears throat> so one one hundred eight minus um minus forty five minus forty five okay so one hundred and eight minus forty five that is correct and thereby later on becomes um yes that becomes. इस तरह से आपको करना है राइट सिमिलरली सब्सट्रैक्शन एडिशन वेर ऑल्सो सिंपल राइट आई वॉन्ट बी सॉल्विंग द एडिशन वंस बिकॉज दे आर वेरी सिंपल ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर बी में किसी को इशू है क्या लुक एट दिस वन या मॉस व्हाट वुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन इफ ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो इन क्वेश्चन नंबर बी ऑफ फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर बी है हमारा ए टाइम्स ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए प्लस वन प्लस वन राइट सो सिंपली हम फर्स्ट वी विल बी सिंपलीफाइंग इट विल बी ए क्यूब प्लस ए स्क्वा� Plus a plus five. Put zero. It will be zero plus zero plus zero plus five. Simply five, right? So yeah. questions are pretty simple. Question number D. Yeah, all of you try to solve it as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. Try to solve this one. Yes, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> Once you guys would be done doing this one now, you'd be solving one more question where you will be showing numbers like x. Now please turn the mic off. This background noise coming from someone's mic. So first solve this one. After that, you will be uh, trying to represent the given expressions in a number line. Okay, now I will solve yes. example for you. Uh, other ones, you guys would be solving it yourself. Okay. Yes, sir. So I got the value. Yeah. What value are getting? So it's um. 
3a square plus ab plus 3ac plus 2b square minus 2b c ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव का अब भी सॉल्व कर रहे हैं व्हाट वैल्यू आर गेटिंग अगेन रिपीट सर थ्री ए स्क्वायर हाँ प्लस ए बी प्लस ए बी प्लस थ्री ए सी यस प्लस टू बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू बी सी Minus two BC. Okay. Ah, uh, others also do tell me what value you guys are getting. Sure, also. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Arhan, how do you represent these algebraic expressions in a number line? Number line, me kis format pe ham represent kar sakte hain? Kine? Okay. Sir, I'm. So I'm getting a four AC minus two BC plus four C square plus three A square plus seven AB. Okay. Okay. You are getting again four AC plus minus four AC minus two BC. A uh, plus a four C square plus three A square plus seven AB. Okay. Okay. Give value of carry. Yes. Sir. Okay. हम्म 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 ओके सो फर्स्ट सिंपलीफाई हम कैसे करते हैं राइट नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल ट्राई टू सिंपलीफाई आउट ऑफ द टू दिस इज द बिगर एक्सप्रेशन राइट क्योंकि स्टेटमेंट कह रहा है कि सब्सट्रैक्ट दिस फ्रॉम दिस राइट नाउ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम सिंपलीफाई करते हैं दोनों ही एक्सप्रेशन राइट लेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन सो दिस विल बी कमिंग थ्री ए स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री ए बी प्लस थ्री ए सी राइट एंड देन इट विल बी टू ए बी Minus two AB, right? Yes, sir. Then minus two AB, minus two B into minus B, that becomes plus two B square. Yes, sir. Right, and minus two B into C, that becomes minus two BC. Yes, sir. Hope that is clear to everyone. Now okay. in this one, see if you can do any further simplification. Are there any like terms? क्या मॉज इसमें कोई like terms है? Yes, sir. Yes, which are they? प्लस Right, whatever is remaining in this. So you have got this. Uh, what my answer? Same as two b square. Yeah, uh -huh, sorry. So three a square. के बाद अब यहाँ पे लिखने के two b square. Okay, ना? Here we're doing subtraction. So the sign should be right. Yes. Yes, sir. It would be plus two two b two b c. Where where? It will be. Minus two B C will become plus two A B. Minus two B C will become plus two B C. This one minus two B into A. It will become minus two A B simply. Right now, now, अभी हमने calculation शुरू भी नहीं की है. Right now, I am just simplifying this expression here. Later on, you will be doing the uh, uh, um, subtraction now. अभी तो मैंने सिर्फ इसे सिंप्लीफाई किया गेटिंग इट ना गाइस सो नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व इट देन होप एवरीवन इज गेटिंग दिस 4c a b c इसे हम सिंप्लीफाई करेंगे दैट इट विल बी -4ac 
प्लस फोर बी सी प्लस फोर सी स्क्वायर ओके ना सो ये भी हमें मिल चुका है नाउ लेट्स डू द सब्सट्रैक्शन पार्ट सो किसे में किस में सब्सट्रैक्ट करना है दिस इज द स्मॉलर वन रिमेम्बर ये भी हमने इस एक्सप्रेशन को सिंप्लीफाई करके लिखा है राइट ओके माइनस माइनस दिस इसकी सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म ये थी दिस वन ओके दैट विल बी माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी प्लस थ्री ए सी माइनस टू बी सी सो लेट्स क्विकली डू दिस वन दैट विल बी माइनस फोर ए सी प्लस फोर बी सी प्लस फोर सी स्क्वायर सिंपली हमने माइनस के साथ सबको मल्टीप्लाई करना है दैट विल बी माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर and you guys look at which are the like terms here so 4ac and 3ac exactly so here you can see guys that 4ac and minus 3ac minus 4ac minus 3ac they are the like terms taken up yes sir hmm. are there any other like terms surely 4bc and 2bc yes sir yes sir <clears throat> yeah are there any more 4c square are there any c square terms no, no sir nahi hai uh, any terms in terms of a square no sir no neither in b square right now okay yes sir so let's add them so minus 4ac minus 3ac okay then plus 4bc plus 2bc then write whatever is left in the question minus 3 square uh, minus b square minus ab so this becomes minus 7ac plus 6bc 6 minus 3 square minus b square minus ab uh, who got the same value yes who got sir, the same got value it. you got it yes sir mm, okay okay so this is the required answer hope it is clear to everyone yes sir <coughs> so this was about exercise 9.3 okay now hmm. similarly exercise 9.4 is also very easy the thing is the multiplication bahut easy hai right now yes sir yes sir so you guys can solve it if you have any issues please do let me know right Hmm. Yes. Also, I I I believe I have provided the PPT for this chapter. Yes, sir. I have now. Ah, uh, to for those of you who haven't received, Moaz, I will be providing the PPT of this chapter because uh, in the PPT you have got questions apart from the NCERT also. So sufficient time. If you get it, apart from the classes, you could be practicing those extra questions also. Yes, right sir. now, we are going to deal with the identities. So you see. <coughs> वैसे इक्वेशन से यहाँ पर इक्वल टू को ऑपरेटर यूज होता है और इक्वल टू की दोनों साइड कुछ एक्सप्रेशंस होते हैं राइट नाउ यस सर वेयर द एक्सप्रेशंस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू द एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो दैट इज एन आइडेंटिटी एंड आइडेंटिटी इज ट्रू फॉर नो मैटर वॉट वैल्यू यू टेक ओके आप कोई सी भी वैल्यू लेते हैं आइडेंटिटी उसके लिए ट्रू होता है ओके ना सो देर आर सेवरल आइडेंटिटीज Right. For example, a plus b whole square will always be equal to a square plus two ab plus b square. Two ab plus b square. Yes, sir. Right, now, guys. Or like a minus b whole square will always be equal to a square minus two b plus b square. Yeah. Yes, Or yes, a sir. Or a plus a plus b multiplied a minus b will be a square minus b square. Right. So these are some of the identities which we are going to study. So an identity is simply an equality. इक्वल टू का साइन हम यूज करते हैं ये बेसिकली क्या है इक्वलिटी होता है राइट एंड इट इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ द वेरिएबल्स आपने इनकी कोई सी भी वेरिएबल्स की वैल्यू आपने पुट कर दी राइट फॉर एग्जांपल सी दिस आइडेंटिटी है ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर यहां पे कितने वेरिएबल्स हैं 
How many variables are there? Two. Two, namely a and b. So no matter what yes. value you take for a and b, whether you take one or two, whether you take three or four, any value, it will always be satisfying this equality sign. Yes. Sir. For example, one plus two whole square. That means three ka whole square. That means nine. Yes, sir. Right. Or yes, sir. one square plus two times one into two. ये two a b मैं कर रहा हूँ. Two a b के format में लिखा है हमने. And b yes, is sir. yes, sir. Two square. So here this becomes ones. This becomes four, and this becomes four. So one plus four plus four. That is nine. Right? Yes, sir. So if yes, you were sir. to put the value of one and two in place of a and b, that will also will be giving you nine on both the sides of equal to sign. Had you been taken three and four, then also it will be two. You can check for that as well. Three plus four whole square equals to three square plus two times three times four plus four square. That becomes seven square. That means forty nine. Here nine yes, plus twelve plus sixteen. Right now. Forty-nine. Eight <clears throat> twenty-four. Okay, actually. Okay. Twenty-four. So twenty-four plus sixteen. That is forty. Forty plus nine. Forty-nine. So here the values on this, uh, both side of equality is equal, right? Similarly, yes. you have got other identities also, which are true for all the values of the variables, right? So that is the basically yes, crux sir. of the identity. In mathematics, that is what identity means. हाई क्लासेस में कुछ और भी आइडेंटिटीज पढ़ेंगे आप इनके अलावा ओके सो लाइक ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब इज इक्वल टू ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लस 3 ए बी 3 ए बी यस सर इनटू ए प्लस बी सो दैट यू विल बी आल्सो स्टडीइंग राइट अभी हम ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर पढ़ते हैं वी विल बी स्टडीइंग अबाउट ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब एज वेल ओके ना ओके इफ यू एनीवन हैज टू से एनीथिंग प्लीज डू टेल मी आप इमेजिन करें कि ये वैल्यूज गिवन है एक्सप्रेशन से राइट लेट्स इवैल्यूएट इट्स बोथ साइड फॉर x 2 हम फाइंड आउट करने की कोशिश करते हैं हैड यू बीन टेकन x 2 ऑन बोथ द साइड्स ऑफ इक्वलिटी विल द एलएचएस एंड आरएचएस बी इक्वल टू ईच अदर सो ये हम ट्राई करते हैं फाइंड आउट करने की सो x 2 x 3 मींस 2 हम प्लेस यहां पे करेंगे यहां पे प्लेस करेंगे राइट सो 2 यू हैव प्लेस्ड 2 यू हैव प्लेस्ड हियर एज़ वेल सो दैट बिकम्स 4 5 ये फोर होगा ये फाइव होगा यस सो दैट इज ट्वेंटी सो एलएचएस हमें ट्वेंटी मिल गया राइट नाउ कंसीडरिंग द राइट हैंड साइड दिस वन सो दैट इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर मींस टू स्क्वायर ये हम आज हाउ इट बी कैन फोर एंड फाइव टू प्लस टू सिंपली फोर टू प्लस थ्री सिंपली फाइव राइट नाउ सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स मीं Uh, square is two x uh, two square, five x is five into two, and simply added two x. Thereby again you are getting twenty, right? So here you are getting to see that you have actually got an equality here, an identity here. Yes, sir. Right now, so which says that if you have a plus like this, if you have got x plus two into x plus three. Yes, sir. राइट ना, सो हमें क्या मिल रहा है यहाँ पर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू यस टू इंटू एक्स इंटू थ्री और इट वुड बी ना बेटर टू अंडरस्टैंड विद दिस आइडेंटिटी इस तरह से आप कंफ्यूज हो जाएंगे सी सी दिस वन दिस वन फ्रॉम हियर सी द प्रीवियस वन दैट वी सॉ <laughs> there you had algebraic expressions on both the sides of the equality sign and no matter what value you would be taking there the values on both the sides were coming equal right yes so say 
that you have the identity a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now a plus b whole square, okay. <clears throat> you know that it can be written like this also a plus b times a plus b. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's the same as you write 7 square. So it becomes 7 into 7. Right now. Or it's the same as so you write 7 as 3 plus 4 whole square. So it becomes 3 plus 4 into 3 plus 4. Yes, sir. And you get 7 into 7 is simply what I use the opus. That means 49. Yes, sir. Right now. So you have got this identity number 1 where it says that a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So you have a plus b whole square, which you can be written as a plus b into a plus b. Any issues in this thing? No. So a plus b whole square. Now we have to multiplication. Everyone knows the rule of the multiplication with such expressions. A gets multiplied with each and every term of the, uh, of the values under the second. Right, a, yes, a ke saath bhi multiplied hoga, b ke saath bhi multiplied hoga. Getting it now. So simply yes, a kya ho raha a plus b ke saath multiply ho raha right? And the b is getting multiplied with a plus b, right? So yes, after solving it, you are getting a into a that is a square, right now. A into b that is ab, getting it. Then b into a that is ba, and then b into b that is b square. So ab plus ba, both are like terms or not? A, B, yes, and B, they, are. they are like terms. So they are yes, simply two A B. Because B A ko A B to lik sakta It's the same thing. So haven't I proved actually that A plus B whole square is actually equal to A square plus two A B plus B square? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone has any, uh, having any doubt in this one? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Similarly, prove this one also. Hmm. A minus B whole square. First step should be Say uh, A minus B uh, into A, a plus B. A minus B ka whole square and A B. A minus B into A minus B. Yes, sir. A minus a B into B, A minus B. Why A plus B? So what different uh, identity minus here? Minus would minus would get plus. <laughs> nee, nee. While multiplication, you will be doing that thing. That's a different thing, uh, Arhan. A, a different identity we have to learn. When we have a plus b into a minus b, hota hai, so that is a square minus b square. Now we are not discussing. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, stick to this one. Stick to the second identity. By the way, Moaz, Ahmed, Arhan, Arham, everyone is clear with the first identity or not? Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, the second one we are doing this. And we are actually trying to prove that a minus b whole square ये a square minus 2b plus b square क्यों हो रहा है? Right now, ये अभी हम drive करने की कोशिश करते हैं, right? So see, you can write it like this. Later on, a will be a minus b, and minus b will be multiplied with a minus b. Yes. In yes, this, sir. if anyone is having any doubt, please do let me know. हम क्या yes, करते हैं? a को हमने a minus b के साथ multiply किया, right? ये minus b को हमने Again, a minus b ke saath multiply kya. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so this will be guys a square minus a b. Right? A into a, a into minus b. Then minus b into a. Yeah. So minus a b pe mein lik sakta no? For the sake of convenience. Yes, minus b, b after minus a b. Right? And then minus b into minus b. Plus b square. Minus minus becomes plus. Exactly. So thereby that is plus b square. <coughs> Is that clear to everyone? Also, minus a b minus a b. That is minus Do one it. into minus, minus two a one a b minus one a b actually here. Because there's a hidden minus coefficient minus one here. Yes, sir. Exactly. So minus one and minus one kya hota hai? Minus two. Hota hai. Minus, minus Just, two. Exactly. So that is simply minus two a b now. So a yes, square yes, minus sir. two a b plus b square. Hope everyone got this. Yes, yes sir. Uh, was did you got this thing? Yes, sir. But it is complicated. It's a, it's not that much complicated. It's not that much complicated. Once you would do it yourself on 
on your uh, con on your copy you will be understanding it completely sir okay any other question ha ha you guys do one thing no how about you guys try to derive the this one थर्ड वन आप लोग प्रूफ करने की कोशिश करें वाई प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी विल बी इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ओके ना एवरी वन ऑफ इज ऑल इट ओके ना एंड देन सेंड इट्स सेंड इट्स पिक्चर टू काउंसलर ओके ओके सर हाँ आई विल बी वेटिंग बट ट्राई टू डू इट अंडर वन और टू मिनट ओके अच्छा बाय द वे व्हाट इज द कोफिशियंट इन दिस टर्म एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर वन सर ओके नो माइनस टेन एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर व्हाट इज द कोफिशियंट इन दिस वन गाइस माइनस टेन हम्म व्हाट अबाउट माइनस ट्वेंटी व्हाट इज द कोफिशियंट इन दिस टर्म यस माइनस ट्वेंटी माइनस ट्वेंटी व्हाई बिकॉज माइनस ट्वेंटी को मैं एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी एक्स रेस टू दी एक्सपोनेंट जीरो लिख सकता हूँ ना यस राइट एंड एक्स रेस टू पावर जीरो इज सिंपली वन राइट डेट इज सिंपली माइनस ट्वेंटी इनटू वन ओके ओके हाँ प्लीज ट्राइ टू डू दिस वन वेरी क्विकली ओके Boss, you are able. To, uh, you are uh, having any difficulty in doing this? Third one. Yeah, third one. Mm-hmm. Just remember. Ha, uh, just remember that you have to multiply the term with the term. B also, you have to multiply the term with the term. That is what you have to do. And then okay. simply, simply reduce it to the simplest form possible. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Good. <clears throat> Say good take time. Mm, do. Okay. So it would take time to send it. Yes. Sir. Okay. Then then leave it then. Okay. So can I uh, uh, send the answer in the chat box? the process ha 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 in the chat box you can send it okay 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 <clears throat> you can just write the last uh, last two lines okay na i no need to write the whole proof okay 
Yeah. Okay, okay, look here. Let me help you then. Yeah, Moz. Hmm. Yes, sir. See, सबसे पहले हमें क्या करना वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ दिस ए प्लस बी यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस ए विथ ए माइनस बी सो ए को हमने ए माइनस बी के साथ मल्टीप्लाई करना है राइट एंड देन टेक दिस प्लस बी आप प्लस बी को लेंगे आप एडिशन करना है बी यहाँ पर आपको ठीक है ना टू टेक द बी है देन बी हैज टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद द ए माइनस बी right yes sir okay was this the first step of everyone kya aap sabhi ne is tarah se solve kiya tha yes sir right so now a into a that is a square a into minus b that is minus ab b into a or whether a into b yeah yes sir i can do it like this yes, right sir. now or b into minus b will be minus b square now yes sir yeah Everyone, pay attention here. That minus e b and e b. Yeah, uh, good, Erhan. And e b and minus e b. They are like terms and having opposite sign. So, can I say simply cancel? कर सकता हूँ? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, what I'm left with a square and b square simply. Yes, sir. A square and minus b square. Yes, it was simple. It was simple now. Right. so this is how you are required to uh, this is how it is derived okay by the way der uh, derivation nahi aata hai but it's good if you know that okay similarly fourth one this one is also very simple now huh yes, so you yes, can yes. solve it here only like x into x is x square right x yes, into b so x into b here yeah, hamara a into x a into x hamara here yeah, right a into b this is ab look yes sir x plus a tha and x plus b it will be x into x plus b plus a into x plus b so thereby it will be x square plus uh, <coughs> bx plus ax plus ab now yes sir. getting it now and yes, bx and ax me kya common hai what is common in between these two so x x is common so x is square plus me x ko bahar lunga bahar likha likhunga main se so a plus b i can write it like this right? yes, sir. ab yes, b plus sir. a kyun nahi likha maine because for the sake of uh, uh, writing uh, convenience and reading it a plus b right plus ab getting it now yes, these are the four algebraic identities you guys have to remember okay yes sir yes sir hmm. so four identities <coughs> and they are <coughs> true for any given value of the variable no matter what value for the variable x or a or a or b will be taking the values on the left hand side and the right hand side will always be equal okay now now using these identities we will be solving few questions theek hai kuch questions hum solve karne ja rahe hain okay So you'd be practicing these questions also. First, take a very simple question. See, you have ninety-nine square. Huh. Yes, sir. So we can find it out using which of the algebraic identity. Sir, um, a minus b square whole square. <clears> hmm. <throat> Good. Hundred minus one uh, whole square. Exactly. So ninety-nine square. Can I write it hundred minus one? Ninety nine is same as this, right now. So yeah, divide yeah. would be hundred square minus two into hundred into one plus b square, right? That is minus one square. So we Very can use now. the first identity too. We have to. We are using the second one. identity. Ninety eight. Plus uh, again, one whole square. Exactly, that can also be used, but using this identity now would be more convenient because you have the term hundred. So hundred के साथ calculation थोड़ा easy होता है, right now. Uh, so in exam also you will be using this identity a minus b. Yes, sir. Okay now. Mm hmm. 
Because if you will write the ninety six, ninety eight plus one, examiner might deduct the marks. That won't be wrong, but the examiner might deduct the marks. Yeah. Okay. Anyone is having any doubt in this one? Please do let me know. Yes, sir. I have. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, Mars. No, sir. These identities are related to last exercise. Yeah, this is related to the last exercise. Uh, sir, uh, in our uh, max, um, our max uh, told that for our exam, this of this chapter last last exercise is not coming. Okay, okay. So for this up upcoming exam or for the final exams also, it won't be coming. No, no, sir. For this upcoming, for finals, okay. I don't know. Okay, for finals, you don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah. make sure, please to confirm from your from your teacher whether it will be part of the final exam or not. Okay. Right sir. now, uh -huh. I believe. Okay, you have already studied about the derivation, right? And derivation, you have read. You know what identities basically mean. So there's no harm if you are able to retain the concept, right? What if it also if it were to be part of your final exam, right now? Yes. Second one, two ninety seven into three hundred and three. Yes. <clears throat> Can I write this two ninety seven as three hundred minus three, and yes. this as? Three hundred plus three, yeah. So, can we notice that it is of the format a minus b into uh, a, a plus b, b now? A yeah. plus b. And this identity was what? A square minus b square. A square minus b square. Are you right? Yes, sir. Okay, so using this we can solve. So we will be simply taking a as three hundred, b as three here. So a up yes. value put करेंगे three hundred की. B will be three here. So that is twenty-seven minus twenty-seven, right? <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Sir. So like this, you could be solving. For the first one, so that yeah, for the first one, answer it's is 2000. it's two thousand. Two For the first one. Yes. Sir. How come it be possible? You just think of this, Arhan. Is the square of ninety nine equal to uh, the value you are saying? No, uh, nothing. Obviously, no, no. I got twelve thousand. No, no, twelve thousand. You can't do it. Ninety nine into ninety nine. That is how much, huh? Yes, ninety nine into ninety nine. That is how much? Is it not equal to uh, nine thousand eight hundred and one? Oh uh, yes, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nine zero one. Exactly. Okay. Ah, uh, for this, uh, what would be the value for this question? Quickly, quickly. Yeah, ninety thousand minus twenty seven. That gives you how much? Say eighty nine thousand nine hundred seventy three. Eighty again. Eighty-nine thousand. Thousand. Eighty-nine thousand nine hundred seventy. Exactly. Right now. Okay. So the basic thing I wanted to tell you about identities use करके हम values find कर सकते हैं like this. Okay. Now using this identity, try to find out the first question. Try to solve the first question using this identity. A square minus B square equals to A plus B into A minus B. Okay. Yes, <clears throat> All of you have to do the one on question number one. <laughs> so I got the answer. Hmm. Got the answer. Sir, I also. <clears throat> okay. So what value you are getting? Um, two five four nine. Two five four nine. Yes. And you, Arhan? Sir, so, uh, I got uh one five one. One five one. Okay, ये a square minus b square है. Yes, sir. <clears throat> And a here is fifty one, b here is forty nine. ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ये आइडेंटिटी हमें यूज करनी है ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस बी इनटू ए माइनस बी 
That is 50, exactly 51 plus 49 into 51 minus 49. So that is 51 plus 49. That is 100 into yes, 2 now. That is 200. Uh, yes, anyone sir. who got the answer as 200? No, sir. Uh, so you see, <clears throat> basic questions are still you miss. Yeah. Okay. So you guys so, need to do a lot of practice. Should be fifty plus one fifty minus one. So A should be fifty and B should be one, right? A should be fifty and B should be one. Why okay. are you taking B as one? Ye hamare kya hai? Look here. Ye A square minus B square ki format mein hai na arham. Was you also pay attention here? Ha ha. Thereby you are getting the wrong value. Okay, now so this will be equal to 200. Okay, um, uh, Moz isn't here. <clears throat> yeah, it's also, uh, also, guys, now I have been thinking like you guys have already uh, uh, done all the questions from NCERT. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so if you have actually done all the questions from the NCERT, I am thinking, uh, how about we take questions from other books as well. Like we were taking questions from R.D. Sherman from other sources as well. Yes, yes. Okay, now. Okay, but the thing is, yes, uh, every, there are, uh, there are other students also in the batch who haven't even done the question from NCRT as well. So they would be having difficulty. So, so what we can do, what we can do now, okay, uh, sometimes we can schedule one or two classes in a month where you would be just taking questions from different sources right yes, but the questions would be of high, also do that for the high order thinking. Class. Uh, for the science class also i'm thinking okay now because uh, anxiety questions we have already done that and uh, yes, them again doesn't make any sense okay now yes, so uh, there will be uh, in science in every science class, I could be including uh, questions of high order thinking skills because everyone can pretty much do questions of science if it's a little bit difficult. But maths me bought difficulty was okay. Yes, sir. So thereby uh, we will see how to do that. Okay now. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so this is how you are required to solve questions using the identities. Okay. Is the chapter done? Our chapter is done. Only the, the thing is left to be done in the chapter is exercise 9.5. Sir, when, will, uh, when is my uh, um, extra class for science in the fibers? Uh, for the chapter, uh, for you, that class now. Uh, I will be, uh, first I will, uh, let me have a look at my schedule. Then it will yes, be, uh, your classes will be scheduled in uh, in one or two days. Yes, sir. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> So exercise 9.5, okay, in these questions, you have to use the suitable identities and solve the given questions. So right? can I also join that class for extra reason? Huh, you can also join that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I will ask the counselor to share you the link. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. Okay. So this was all there in the chapter. In the next class, you guys have a look at these questions. Hmm. Yeah, I was talking about this. Hope you guys can see my screen. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So see here, you can see that there are questions in this book, and they are having some decent level. Uh, there are some decent level questions in this. Okay, so we would be taking questions from this one also. Okay. Hmm. Yes, sir. All 